TV taught me how to dream. Kobe was obviously an idol of yours. Any memorable moments, obviously growing up, you know, kind of on the outskirts of LA, you got to see him and winning his rings. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, someone you modeled your game after. What was what was it about Kobe that was you, drew you to him? It was just his approach. Um, like, I was actually talking to somebody today about, uh, you know, I, I loved him growing up. My household was, was Lakers. Uh, you know, rest in peace, my grandmother. My grandmother was the biggest Lakers fan, biggest Kobe <laughs> fan. Um, so it, it was just always on at the house. And I just love, like, he didn't care, like, his approach to the game. I remember a quote he said, uh, like, good players are supposed to make you look bad. Like, that's their job. But I'm going to take that challenge. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They supposed to make me look stupid out mm -hmm. here. And that always, like, resonated with me, like, I don't care. Like if I get crossed, I get crossed. If I get dunked on, I get dunked on. But I'm gonna take that challenge. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's fun to take that challenge. Very few. Nobody, it's very few. Right. You left. It's very few. Bro. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, I was I was going. It was my senior year. It's first time I seen Kobe play. It was my or my senior year going to, to be a freshman in college. Um, I went to Staples to go see T Mac and Kobe square off. T Mac was was on Kobe's ass. Mm -hmm. T Mac gave Kobe everything. I think he finished with like 30 some. I think the Houston won that game. Uh, but but really what stood out was Kobe was guarding T Mac. T Mac wouldn't guard Kobe. Mm. Yeah. And that stood out to me. That mm -hmm. was one thing that like I, I, I got to see, because T Mac is my my second favorite player. So I got to see T Mac in, in his, you know, his element. I saw I saw T Mac um, you know, a ray of sh uh, stuff that I wanted to work on. I, I got to see T Mac live doing it. But what stood out to me was like, damn, this dude Kobe, like, taking he, that challenge. he taking that challenge. He trying to check him. Uh, and, and from that day on, it was like, yeah, that's that's my guy. That's, mm -hmm. that's my guy. Any memorable stories once you got a chance to get in the league and play against him or any battles that come to mind when mm -hmm. you think of him? Yeah, yeah. Um, a couple, man, a couple. I remember the first time I got to play him, and we had B. Shaw as an assistant. In Indiana? In Indy. Mm -hmm. And... Um, B. Shaw talking shit from the bench, <laughs> egging Kobe on. He, you know, Kobe, young fella on you, young fella on you, Kobe. So uh, this one play, we down on A end, right in front of Lakers bench. Kobe hit me, boom, you know, his little shimmy. He gave me an elbow, boom, felt it. I'm, this this my what, second year? So I'm like 220, I'm light. <laughs> he gave me an elbow, boom, I felt it. Gave me the pump, I go for it, right? Pump, I go try to block the shit. He end up scoring. He run down. He look at B. Shaw. He say, yo, tell the young fella, check, check him for feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm right here next to him, too. <laughs> like, wait, what you mean? <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean? It, it was, you know, after the game, he showed love. You know, he, he you know, showed me mad love. You know, gave me words of motivation. Mm -hmm. Keep me, keep me, uh, you know motivated to keep going. Um, but that was most memorable. And then the opportunity, you know, I played him his last go around, played him in LA and when he came to Indy. Um, that was, you know, moments that'll stand out and, and I'll, I'll never forget getting to play him in Indy, his last go around, getting a win on him on his last go around. <laughs> um, and then we had an intimate moment, you know, when he was going through his whole tour yeah. after the games, he'll come chop it up, you yeah. know what I mean, in the locker room with, with everybody. And it was just me and him. Um, he came to the locker room, and it was just me and him. Just had a moment, and um, it was awesome, man. It was it was dope to share that moment.